hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome and if you are returning to subscribe thank you for always stopping by so in today's video i'm just sure i made this 2 by 4 closure a blend wig from scratch i ventilated the closure and how i wig and style it this is actually one of the 60 pieces that i told you my client sent on my last video so this is how the packet here looks like the name is remember me and it comes with four bundles so i pick one of the air bundle cut small pieces out of it then i cut the weft of the air after I'm done doing that, you can either use your hand or take comb to comb small pieces out because we only need the longer part for the air ventilation. Then I pick small pieces out of the air, fold it into two, so I make sure one end is longer than the other so that the closure will not be too short. Then I pinch and twist and use my finger to bring some hair out so that I can see the number of hair I want to be working with. So I have to draw the line of the 2x4 closure of camera because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long so if you have interest in that video you can check my page for it for the base of the hair which is the back section so i'm going to be using three strands of hair at the back and when i get to the front i'm going to change it to two strands of hair so pass your paint through the net bring out three strands of hair wrap your paint through the hair and pass it to the loop pass your paint through the net bring out three strands of hair wrap your paint through the hair and pass it to the loop i'm using three strands of hair at the back section because i want it to be more fuller so that you can cover the back section I have to finish the base of the hair of camera because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long. You can see how it looks like when I'm done with it. The next thing to do is to ventilate the middle part so that we can get a perfect middle part. To get a perfect middle part, you are going to ventilate two straight lines in between the middle part. It's either you leave one line or two lines, depends on how wide you want your middle part to be. And this is how it looks like when I'm done ventilating the two straight lines at the middle. So I continue by ventilating the other side of the net by using two strands of hair. So I have to fast forward the rest of the video because I don't want this video to be too long by repeating the same thing every time. And this is how the closure looks like when I'm done with the air ventilation. You can see how beautiful and natural it looks like. I've already wear the dome mesh cap on the canvas set of camera. So the next thing to do is to place the closure on the dome mesh cap and use T-pin or office pin to secure it so that you will not be lifting up when you start your sewing to make the sewing easier i use air clips to hold the closure in place i started the sewing from one side to another and i knot it once because i want it to be as flat as possible i'm going to leave you to watch how i did that while i fast forward the necessary parts and explain the necessary parts later So I have to do this line of camera and what I did is that I place the table where the closure hand and measure one one inch from that line and I continue by picking one of the air bundle since the air comes with the same length I just pick one of it and start sewing from the back section but if the air doesn't come with the same length you are going to start with the shorter one
and this is how it looks like when i'm done with the sewing so i'm using my take comb to comb it out so that it can look straight you might decide to straighten it before you start the trimming but i did not straight this one i just comb it out and i use my clipper to start trimming it when you want to start trimming it make sure the first trim is two inches longer than the actual length you want in case you made a mistake and this is how it looks like when i'm done trimming it the next thing to do is to apply wastic on the closure part just the closure part after i'm done applying the wastic i use my horse comb to press it down if you are still watching till now and you haven't liked and subscribed please like and subscribe to support this channel So this is how the hair looks like when I'm done with everything. You can see how beautiful it looks like. And you have come to the end of this tutorial. If you haven't liked this video, please like this video to help this channel out. Drop a comment if you have any question. Share with your friends and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop another beautiful video. See you in my next video. Bye.